Yeah, hi ladies and gents, this is Irene, seriously scrapping. I'm just here to show you um, a new kit that I have in my zippered store. Um, and this kit is 35 Australian dollars plus shipping. Um, so that's $8.90 within Australia. About 17 to America and 21 to Europe. So this is a genuine vintage original, has genuine original uh, ephemera from that. Going from about 18, seven, 1870s to 18, late 1800s to early 1900s, 1930s, up to 1976, yeah. Alright, so with this kit you will be getting you will be getting this music book and this music book has um, 15 pages, I mean 20 pages, and you can see the beautiful colour with the pages, so it's got 20 pages, which is 40 front and back, in journaling terms that is 80 pages front and back, because one of these measures 12 inches, by nine inches so when this is folded in half this makes a journaling page so all up you've got 80 music pages front and back here and this is 1920s or 1930s So you'll be getting that, and then you'll be getting, this is the item from 19, sorry, <laughs> okay. um, 1976, I'll just lower it a bit, uh, 1976, um, it says, and they are, I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, so you can use those pictures there. Or you can use these. And this is like a lighter colour. It's not like that little brown brown, which is cool. Something different. Lots of layers here of lovely paper. Um, if any American ladies are watching this, um, you realise your dollar is like so much better than ours, especially ladies in the UK and Europe. So 35 Australian dollars is probably a bit over half that. So maybe about 50, so maybe 17 US dollars. Yeah. About that. And again, shipping 17, half of 17 is about 7 US, so it's pretty good. Pretty good. And the only reason why I'm having it so cheap is because uh, I've just got so much, so much music paper. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, next, so then you've got all this stuff here that you'll be getting. So this is only one pack at the moment, but what I was thinking of doing is if I sell this, then I'll make more packs up. Okay, so in this pack, you will get 
this came out of a scrapbook that was from 1876 and this is an original page you can see the beautiful color that lovely brownness and if you are making a journal page you if it's a vintage one that you want to give to someone like special to you you can put that in or you can actually take these off and, and give it to them oh god i think i might turn this around next time because I, I just can't see what I'm filming but the only thing is if I do it to face me it's the, it's back to front the writing if you know what I mean and everything is like whatever is on my left is on my right it just looks back to front anyway um, so if I have a little peek behind this where it just started opening yeah, can't see any advertisement, but I'm not sure what's that. Um, with love, Christmas greetings. I think this is like a postcard. It's not a advertisement one. Um, yeah, some of these, like these ones, could have been from a newspaper. This one over here is religious. There's another religious one. And there's another one here. And this is approximately, well, exactly, <laughs> just nine inches by seven inches. Okay. And you'll be getting, I believe this is from the 60s or late 60s early 70s it's um an easter card beautiful easter card and the back says uh printed in italy it's a lovely old comes in its original envelope um, then you'll be getting this original 1800s postcard that came with a stamp, stamped 1910. You can see. You can see Mr. and Mrs. Feathers, Queen, Blair Co. from Mrs. Feathers. Happy Easter. Very Victorian. Then we have this one. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll just show that to you. This is the back. This is Joyce calling Dada Queensland. It's a beautiful card. This is an original calling card from the 1800s and back here 
it's got uh, 10 cents for a hundred, 80 cents for a thousand. Uh, it's back then, you know, um, people used to pop their details, leave it on someone's store so they knew that they were there because phones were didn't have mobiles. Um, I'm from the state of Victoria and in Victoria we got a place called a Chuka and this is very old. Um, and this is the places of a Chuka. Um, so this is early 1900s, um, bridge over Murray River, the Murray River is what separates my state from the next state up which is New South Wales, entrance to Victoria Park. There's a couple of vintage playing cards. There is a cray, I think it's called a cray, is it? And on the back of this, it's got. I think someone at some stage had it stuck down. It's a Joker card for Congress. It says Congress, Congress. Oh, and it's got, looks like Washington there. But anyway, we're more interested on that side, that lovely bird. And over here we've got, uh, this looks like it's from the 60s racing. Um, we've got the Melbourne Cup coming up shortly. Very big racing day. All my three kids were born in the week of the Melbourne Cup, which is the first Tuesday of the first month of November. Beautiful card. Then we've got another gorgeous 1800s, uh, late 1800s, I believe. Could be later, could be early 1900s. Miss Hazel Shepherd, Salem, Oregon, your friend Bertha. Okay, so look at this. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? And it's um, embossed as well. You can see that heart kind of. the gold back then the printing to do that back then is uh, would have cost a lot and to replicate that now it's very expensive um, even those flowers are embossed you can see that embossing back there it's a beautiful beautiful card we've got some a 1950s old black and white image of a family there very cute and we've got this one it says beautiful bridge kangaroo valley coming from mrs vale and there's a little lady standing there initially i thought it was a ghost but <laughs> From the 60s, I'd say. And here's another image from the 60s. Someone's wedding day there. 
and on the back is where it came from, uh, placing Victoria. Elite Studios, Melbourne, that's the city I live in. Yeah. And then you will get these and all of these. I believe, yes, these are all advertisement cards from the late 1800s. Advertising Ariosa Coffee, Pounds Roasted Daily. Um, yeah, so this is a cute little image there playing the flute and there's the, the back there's one there's another pretty image there some flowers Buckle Brothers Coffee And again, there's this Arosa coffee. Simple but effective. And it's a picture of a um, man in bed. It's got something hanging at the top there. Let me try and read it with the magnifying glass. Tis an ele elegant invitation of my own. When the burglars lifts the windy, down comes the rock. Okay, so if someone breaks in through his window, when the window comes up, that will come crashing down on his head and wake him up. <laughs> oh, jeez. And... Then there's this cute little picture there. Because kids back then, they used to use them as chimney cleaners because they were small and they can get into the chimneys. And I don't know what president it was in America that started to outlaw that. I think it was Washington. Maybe not. And that's, that's those. And then we have some laces. And from my super store, um, there are a few. Let me get the vintage ones. Lovely old vintage laces in here. So there's this one, and this one is made in England. There we go. It's not gorgeous. looking very dark I don't know if it's my shadow I'm sorry so there's that one and there's this uh, this one is from France Yeah. 
So this one is from France. Very pretty. Very soft. So you get a yard of each of the laces I'm showing you. And then you get, except for this one, you get two yards of this one. And this is a real lovely dainty one. And then you get this. It's a lovely gathered peach. Peach one. Very pretty. And uh, I really love the way this goes with the vintage one the beige and, um, oh and there's also this this is another vintage one as well gorgeous very dainty so you get a yard of this one These are also sold separately in my exhibit. Also, there is this trim as well. It's a yard, but um, I think I cut it in half by accident. So it's two half yards. It's a lovely pink braided trim. And then there's this gorgeous crochet hilltop lace, which is in um, it was an, made in Australia. It's an Australian brand hilltop in the 80s. Yeah. Gorgeous. And last but not least is this beautiful lace as well. This is a yard. You can see that on there. It's very pretty. So. Just under four inches. Yeah. So that's the kit. That's, um... As I said, $35. Um, it's only one kit at the moment, but um, if you're interested, I can make up more kits. Um, similar kits, you can say, oh, well, can I have a variation? Can I have this and can I have this, that? I, I'll mix them up with. I almost forgot there's um, charms as well. Variations in terms of um, colour lace or the types of images, you know. Um, yeah, so these are five charms and they're on bulb pins. This one is a, a green bulb pin and it's a, quite a substantial thickness. It's not the real thin one, see? It's, and that's of a Christmas tree. you see the thickness on the side yeah yeah i thought that would be cute with christmas coming up and here a dress i thought i'll put the pink bulb bulb pin on that it's a little dress this one isn't as thick as the christmas tree but yeah it's it's not yeah it's not very thin but it's not as thick as the christmas tree my favourite, oh my god, there's a couple of favourites in here. It's a white bulb pin with a little pretty cat. This is one of my favourites. I just think this looks so adorable. This one is... Uh,
sorry guys try not make a safe face as you it's a little charm that says blessed which is on a locket and it's like a maroon bulb pin and i thought that looks adorable and this is a very good quality it's like a rose gold um charm it's a very good quality charm i think it's been rose gold plated on some metal i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's stainless steel maybe it is i don't know my guess is it's some type of alloy or something i'm not sure um but yeah it's a beautiful rose gold shine to that and i thought that went really well that would look really nice like that on on the locket a uh, little what do you call them the backings or whatever they are last but not least is uh this beautiful one as well that i sell individually in my store and of course it's a dream catcher and it's got three little feathers hanging off it which i think is adorable and it's got a lovely purple metallic bulb pin and they look awesome on a piece of lace or fabric hanging off a page journaling page yeah so you get those as well hope i've shown you everything yeah so that's it um yeah thanks all for watching and uh yeah i'll i'll put the link below to to my zipper store where you can purchase this from thank you bye